There are four sites I use all the time for downloading PNG cutout people for my architecture projects. It really is as simple as going to these sites, downloading the PNGs you want, and then adding them to your Photoshop file. But still somehow I managed to find myself spending hours and hours and hours looking for the right PNG cutout people. These sites will help you quickly and easily find the right PNG people for your project. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be showing you how I organize all of my PNG files so that I don't have to spend hours and hours looking for the right one for every single project. I've got my own material library and I'm going to show you how you can create your own. The first site I've got for you is pimpmydrawing.com. These are all black and white CAD and vector drawings that you can use inside of Photoshop or AutoCAD and you can scale them as big as you want or as small as you want without them losing quality in their resolution. There are also trees and cars available in pimpmydrawings.com. Some of these cost money and there's some packs there that you can pay for, but most of them are free and available to you. Second up is Scalguba. You can download single PNGs of people doing various different activities in groups or by themselves. They come in really high quality and high resolution. Honestly, there are so many. Number three is Mr. Cutout. This site will only allow you to download 2.5 megabytes worth of PNGs every single day. However, you can get around this by using an incognito window. If you open a browser in a private window, you can actually just download as many as you want and it won't track you. Otherwise, if you want to support what they do at Mr. Cutout, you can pay for the priced plans. But, you know, with architecture students, we are pretty cheap. We need to buy stuff cheaply or for free. And so you can download as many as you want for free by opening the site up in an incognito window. And last but not least, number four is Viz People. And Viz People is great because they've got a lot of packs of people, which you can just download a lot of people all at once. And they come as Photoshop files, I believe it is, .psd files, which can be a bit annoying because then you have to go into Photoshop every time you want to use these people. So what I've done personally is I've saved these out as PNGs. I've just quick exported them out as a PNG and now I can just use them and add them to any project that I want. So rather than going to these sites every time you do a project to download the right cutout figure for your project, there's a simpler way to do it. What I do is keep a collection of all of the good PNG people that I've used in previous projects and I save them to a material library. I then organize this material library into different categories, which helps me easily go through it and find the right perfect PNG person that I need for my project. It's as simple as downloading the PNG people that you want to use in your projects and then saving them into a folder, which is organized correctly However you want to do this, I've got it for them doing different activities. I've got side views and front views and back views so that I can just easily go through it all and I know exactly what I'm going to find in these folders and I can just add them to my projects. My material library is growing constantly with every project I do. Whenever I find the right PNG person for my project, I'll then save that directly to my material library and then it's there for future use as well. So I don't have to go searching online for it. And that's the biggest thing rather than spending hours and hours looking online, I mean, you might have to do that once, but then you don't have to do that again. You've got it in your material library already categorized and neatly saved. Thank you so much and a happy new year. Till next time, catch you later.